My name is Nick Ridgway. My gamer tag is Ashes, and I coach for Optic Gaming Gears of War. You want to record the whole time, or just do like yeah, yeah, a few minutes, and I can turn it off? We record the whole time. Doesn't matter me. Cool. Record till the battery dies. Ready? I have 128 yep. gigs in that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get close to your face here. Do it. Sound speeds. Sound speeds. Are we on? I'll uh, go down just a little bit. Yep, right there. All right. This is optic ashes. Take one. Cool. So, first thing, um, can you tell me your name? Let's see. Let's see your gamer tag, team name, mm -hmm. um, and then your position. Let's say, sorry, gamer tag, and then that you're the coach for Optic. Okay. Go ahead. And you don't want full name? No, no full name. Uh, you want Optic Ashes or Ashes? Just say. I mean, I can say I'm Ashes. I coach for Optic Gaming. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm Ashes, and I coach for Optic Gaming. How are you looking, Anthony? Good. Cool. Now let's say my name is Nick Ridgeway. My gamer tag is Ashes, and I. Coach for Optic. My name is Nick Ridgeway. My gamer tag is Ashes, and I coach for Optic Gaming Gears of War. Awesome. And then let's do gamer tag, team name, and then the charity that you're okay. doing. Uh, gamer tag, team name. Okay. Uh, my gamer tag is Ashes. I am the head coach for Optic Gaming Gears of War, and we're here competing for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Awesome. Um, so, how did you choose the Breast Cancer Research Foundation? We have a player. Uh, so let's say we chose the breast cancer. Okay, yeah, yeah. We chose the Breast Cancer Research Foundation because we have a player who has family ties to that organization, and uh, that organization's done for a lot for his family. So we wanted a, a way to give back, and this was a perfect opportunity. Awesome. And what player is that, and what's the reason? Uh, explosive. I believe his mother uh, was diagnosed with breast cancer and is a survivor. So there's kind of the, uh, the personal connection for him. Awesome. Um, let's do that one more time and say Explosive's mother was diagnosed with okay. breast cancer and, or beat breast cancer. Yeah, yeah okay. Did be. Uh, Explosive's mother beat breast cancer, so this was a great opportunity for us to kind of give back to that organization. Awesome. Um, so why is it cool that Gears is doing a charity event? Gears hasn't really done anything like this, and it's something that needs to be done more in esports. Having the chance to give back to charities that do so much as gamers it really kind of solidifies us as a professional industry and gives us an opportunity to really you know, do something with, with our, our gifts. Oh yeah. Can you hear any of that out there? Sick. That's awesome. Um, yeah, and then, you know, can you talk a little bit more about that? Just like eSports is a young industry and it's like, it's good that Gears is, is kind of like yeah. leading the front. Esports is a young, multi-billion dollar industry, so having a chance in Gears of War, which is kind of known as the like rougher and tougher esports community, to show the softer side and kind of give back to great organizations is, is a phenomenal experience for not only the organizations involved, but also the players to really just have that chance to do something that's good for the people around them. Awesome. Um, let's see. Last question, it's a leading question. I'm just gonna feed it to you. Why can't you wait to win this event to give to the charity? <laughs> okay, why can't I wait? Like we're excited to win this tournament because da 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 da. This charity is something we really believe in. Okay, keep it a charity focused. Yes, Okay. then we're switching gears. No uh, okay. Um, we're really excited to win this tournament for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation because, like I said before, uh, I probably shouldn't say that, huh? Okay. We're really excited to win this event for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation because of those close ties with our player explosives and his family and the opportunity to give back to them for all they've done for him. Beautiful. Awesome. Um, so now I'm gonna ask you a couple like sectioned off questions. Um, the first one is about optic. So, Anthony, for this, we're just doing a quick reslate. Okay. 
but still same roll. Still same roll. Okay. Cool. So, what makes Optic a top team? Optic's a top team because we have the most dominant players in the game, we have the best coach in the game, and we have a winning formula. And nobody has figured out a way to beat it, and we're all doing our jobs to make sure that never happens. So, I don't see this dynasty ending anytime soon. Can Optic be beaten? Optic could be beaten, but won't be beaten. That's a tight answer. Um, let's see, what are, what are Optic's weaknesses? Optic's weaknesses are when other teams catch us off guard and when we can't control the pace of the game. Once we're in our flow and we're in our pace, we're not touched. We're not getting close to anybody. Nobody's putting up a fight. But there are those few moments where we slip, where we don't treat a team the way we should, we don't give them the respect they deserve, and we might get caught off guard a little bit. And it takes a little bit for us to kind of go, okay, let's reset. Let's treat these guys like they're one of our top rivals and let's beat their ass. Yeah, hell yeah. Why do, uh, why do you guys work so well together as a team? We work really well together as a team because we are friends in and out of the game. So we have that kind of relationship where Gilbert can call somebody and say, hey, look, you messed this up, fix it. Or I can as well. I can say, you need to do this better. You need to do that better. Uh, along with that, the players are hanging out. So there's kind of that natural chemistry when they're playing inside the game. They feed off each other, they understand each other, they know what things mean, they know what players are gonna do. And that kind of relationship, that kind of chemistry, it's hard to come by, but it makes you the top of the, the entire league. Oh yeah. Do you think fans wanna see you win this event? <laughs> I think our fans wanna see us win this event. I think Gears of War fans are tired of us seeing, are tired of us. Uh, I think are, are Gears of War? That? Yeah. I think our fans want to see us win this event, but I think Gears of War fans are tired of seeing us win. So I think that's probably a split 75 don't want us to win and 25 do, but we're going to do it anyways. Hell yeah. Um, another gear shift here. I got to reslate. Um, so we're doing like a little series talking about MVPs from each team. So I'm just going to ask you like a little bit, okay. like a little sound bite about each of these players. Yeah. Sick. So, uh, first one is mental. What makes mental um, such a good player? It's mental. It's, and, and that's not just uh, you know, him being him. That's, a, a, fuck, I can't use that now because I forgot the word. Damn it. What's the word when a, a word, uh, what's the word for when something means two different things? Di uh, uh, fuck, it dual. was on the tip of my tongue. Dichotomy, dual. Whatever. Um, dual yeah. Wait, uh, <laughs> nah, it's probably no. Bad. I wanted to say euphemism. I know that wasn't what it is. What do you explain the metaphor then? Um, uh, because he's mental. Like, yeah, he's the like he's Billy. He's really good, but he's also like mental. Like he's crazy good at video uh, games in general. Yeah, I don't know that word. I know the word. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. homophones. No, I, I can't. Homophones. Think of it. Yeah. homophones. <laughs> Billy's a. No, that's fine. Let's we let's start. Let's start ever, again. So. <laughs> what makes mental mental? Mental is just naturally talented at video games. I've watched him be dominant in Halo while being dominant at H1Z1, while being the MVP for Season 1 of Gears. The kid's just naturally gifted at video games, and if he puts his mind to one, he's going to be the best at it. Gears of War is one of those games that he puts his mind to, and a lot of people don't give him credit for the fact that he breaks down every mistake he makes and adjusts so that he doesn't do it again. Oh, hey, sorry, I'm just working on the next video. By the way, if you want to know when this one goes live, make sure you subscribe down below and click the bell icon so you get alerts as soon as I upload it. In the description down below is a link to my Instagram and my Twitter, so make sure you follow me on both of those. See you guys in the next one.